welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get actually just this eye makeup look. I was going to say this full face of makeup look, but no, it's only over the eyes. I did use the Morphe and Jeffree Star eyeshadow palette for this makeup look. I know I just did a tutorial using this palette like a couple videos ago. But the reason I am doing another tutorial using this beautiful palette, I mean, look at it. It's so beautiful. But anyways, the reason I'm using this palette again is because I actually just gifted my niece Lola this palette. And she is a beginner in makeup, so I really wanted to do a fairly simple makeup tutorial that she can follow along to using her new palette. And so... I really did try and do step by step of how I get this eye makeup look so she can follow along and so she can hopefully get something similar to this makeup look. I know it's not like a one and done eyeshadow makeup look. There's still blending, there's still like step by step process, there's still eyeshadow building up and stuff like that. It's not just a really really simple eye makeup look. I don't even know if I can do that in this time of my life anymore just because I'm so used to building and blending and just like layering makeup and stuff like that but I really did try to do step by step at least so she can easily follow along. It's not super simple but it's not super difficult as well so I thought it would just be the perfect makeup look for everybody to follow along and I'm obsessed with it. Matt and I are going on a date so I did get a little dressed up. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial. Please make sure to subscribe down below for me and let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is prime your eyelids. So either you wanna use an eyeshadow primer or a concealer, whichever works for you. I personally use an eyeshadow primer because I have very oily eyelids and I have hooded eyes so my eyeshadow creases terribly when I use concealer. So my favorite is the P. Louise base and this is in the shade Rumor 2. The first time I use this I'm like oh my god this is like so thick like this is getting to crease terribly on me and it does. But I have to set it right away which I will be showing you guys as well but I just take like that's all I use. I don't use that much because you really don't need that much. Just go in with a little tiny bit. And I put this all over my lid and I actually blend it up to my brow bone because I want to cover up all of my veins that is on my eyelids and all that pigmentation that's on my eyes. I actually really do like the Milani eyeshadow primer and I really do like the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion as well. I don't know, this has just been a go-to of mine recently. But to set that before it starts creasing, I'm going to use the Single Shadow from Wet Wild in the shade Brulee. This is my go-to eyeshadow for setting any eyeshadow primer. I've been using it for years. All right, now for the eyeshadow palette, I'm going to be using the Morphe and Jeffree Star eyeshadow palette. And the first shade I'm going to go into is this shade right here. It's called Back. And I'm taking a large fluffy brush and going to be putting this pretty much all over my lid. This is going to be my transition color. And if you don't know what that means, I am putting this in the transition area, which is in between the lid and the brow bone. So right in between is the transition area, pretty much where your crease is. So I'm mainly putting it right there, but I will take it a little bit above and a little bit on my lid. A transition color is how you get your eyeshadow to look smoky and like an ombre finish. It just helps all the rest of the colors blend better. So you're not necessarily going to see this in the end, but it does give that ombre effect up by the brow bone. And you can pack this on as much as you want, just depends on the intensity that you want. I'm not going to overpack it. I do want it to show up on my skin though, because it is a lighter pink. So I am packing it on just a little bit. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of pink fleet right here. I'm going to be taking a little bit of a smaller fluffy brush. It's still a fluffy brush, but just not as big because I will not want to bring this shade up as high. 
So I'm still putting it in my transition area in my outer corner. This is called the outer corner or the outer V and this is called the inner corner or inner V. It just depends but you can say either one. So I'm going to be blending it into my crease and the outer V. Keep in mind I'm not taking a lot at once. I'm literally dabbing it into the shadow and I'm kind of like tapping it off or you can tap it off on your desk or mirror or whatever. You just don't want to go in with full pigment because then it's not going to blend out as easily. Getting it to your shade but building it up is a lot easier and will blend out a lot easier for you. Okay, and as you can see, I have that basically on the outer V, and I blended it into the crease just a little bit. But I have most of the pigment on the outer V right here. Alright, now I'm going into a different brush again, and this is still a little bit of a fluffy brush, but it's also kind of like a pencil brush. It's going to pack on the outer V shade really well because it's nice and precise. So now I'm going to go into the shade Calabasas right here. It's kind of a darker maroon shade. Just dip your brush in that. Tap it off because you don't want a whole bunch of pigment, remember? Just building it up slowly is better than packing it on right away. So I am just packing this on my outer V, keeping it nice and low. I'm not planning on bringing this above the crease, okay? I'm bringing that to about the middle of my eyelid. And just blending it out the edges a little bit because we still don't want any harsh lines. What I do is I do like tapping motions all over the lid and then once you get to the crease I do blending motions just back and forth like a windshield wiper. Remember those days windshield wiper motions. Mm, yes, I love this combination. Maroons are like my favorite to wear. I feel like they really just bring out blue eyes. But don't get me wrong, you can wear this whatever color of eyes you have. I just personally really like it with my blue eyes. And if you get a little messy on the outer corners or if you have like fallout, it's okay. That's why I'm doing my eyes first. That way I can go and clean up the fallout and clean up these edges once I'm all done with my eyes. So now I'm going to go back into back right here. Such a funny name, but I mean, I promise it makes sense when you look at the palette. But anyways, I'm taking in the first fluffy brush I ever went into and I'm using this to just blend out that color. Because we don't want any harsh lines and honestly, I'm barely touching my skin with this, okay? I go into the color, I tap it off, I'm just feathering this along that darker shadow. Because that is what's going to give you that ombre effect. Alright, I just cleaned up the outer V a little bit, just made it a little bit sharper. What I do is you can take a Kleenex or a makeup wipe and I just go like at an angle and I lift up and it's like a sharp cat eye. I'm gonna go into Honest Truth right here. It's a peachy shade. I'm really intrigued on putting this on my lid. So I'm gonna go into a fatter packing brush and I'm gonna go into that Honest Truth shade, tap it off, and I'm going to lightly just dab it all over my lid. Actually, not all over. I want to stop about halfway where that dark maroon shade is. Alright, and to put some more shadow on the outer corners, I'm going to go back into Calabasas, that dark maroon shade, going back into that pencil brush. Packing it on the outer V and slowly bringing it into the middle of your eyelid so those two shades can meet and just like wash together. I really do love an all matte eye. I think it just is so beautiful. 
all right can you tell that it goes from like that peach to light pink to like that dark maroon <sighs> so beautiful i am like really digging this all matte eye right now it's just so romantic and so beautiful so i'm gonna go off camera do my face makeup and i will be right back to do my lower lash line all right makeup is complete so now we're gonna just finish up our lower lash line I'm going to go into Calabasas right here, and I'm going to be using a stiff brush. I don't know how well you can see it. I'm going to be using that and applying this all along my lower lash line. Getting up there right and tight with my lashes. All right, now I'm gonna go into a kind of a dense fluffy brush. It's pretty flat, but it's still pretty fluffy. Now I'm gonna go into Pink Fleet right here. And I'm just going to take that shade and just buff out the lower lash line. Alright, and to keep with like the ruddy, pinky, maroon theme, for my inner corner highlight and my brow bone, I'm going to go into the shade 2 because it is like a shimmery pink. Alright, now I'm going to put on some lower lash mascara, and if you can't tell, I did put on falsies, but you don't have to put on falsies. I just put on falsies because Matt and I are going out on a date, and I love wearing falsies when we go out because I never wear them during the week when I'm at work. So it's just kind of like an extra little step that I like to do when I'm going like full face and we're going out, so... Yeah, don't feel the need to do falsies, but I just wanted to. All right, now that the face is completely complete, I'm going to go change and do my hair, and you will see the finished look. All right, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I just had so much fun doing another tutorial for you guys. I really want to keep my channel, like, makeup based mainly tutorials because I feel like that's what YouTube is really lacking right now is tutorials and so I hope you guys really enjoyed this makeup look I'm obsessed with it and I hope it was really easy for you to follow along whether you're a beginner or not I mean I am not a beginner but I really wanted to do a beginner focused makeup tutorial like step by step explaining what I'm doing because there are beginners out there and some makeup tutorials can be really really difficult and challenging to follow along like I get that I still struggle with some things also so I hope you guys really enjoyed this all matte smoky eye I'm obsessed with it but these shades are like my favorite but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial please make sure to give me a thumbs up hit that notification bell and subscribe for me down below and I will see you guys all in my next video bye